Now, I wrote this poem back when I was in uh, a communications technology class. Sorry, I mean, it's an interesting story for you. As one day I just had a break of faith, didn't have that much of this time, and I decided to write like this. And my mother, her beauty, she told me it was actually very well told, and it was what inspired me to keep writing poetry to this day. Before you call me an undecided fool, listen to my poem, you fucking tool. I grasp from all angles, and for most it just dangles in front of their face, saying, what a disgrace, thinking that they know that their side has the cookie-cutter face. For the answer to every question, as the other side says otherwise because of some declamation, but due to both sides having an inundation, not many sit on the fence. Because most would assume that we are unsure and unclear of our decision, because we would know how to deal with the most problems with the utmost great precision. When others see no solution, we see an opportunity to solve this illusion. Thinking of extreme measures to save our species, but the ideas we bring to the table you say is nothing but feces. For being against dog or cat, Republican or Democrat, doesn't matter who we talk to, our opinions mean jack squat. Even though we sit high, we rock. Analyzing every stalemate that both sides would agree, or whoever that may be. But for now, we keep trivializing people's resolutions, wishing for them to have better execution. To every inquiry, we feel very weary. Little hope is distributed between us as both sides continue to fuss. Confined on top of barbed wire, trying not to fall to either field of fire. As we will be in a trance, that our side will advance. That's why it's uncomfortable up here. We don't choose to try to fill us with hatred, fear. But we refuse all of black and white. In the gray, gray area, we all fight for our right to be undecided, as we are the ones who are motivated into this upbringing of full of are you with us or not. By now, we are rot. From every subject, we know, and that's a lot. So shut up and listen. For every word that is written, you will be dense, as no one will spend any pence. The opinion you gave, but the opinion you brought for everything that you have bought. It's a mindless self-indulgence, as you didn't research about this person's diligence. You don't appreciate your inheritance in this life. You complain about how it's full of strife. It's your preference to stay in your mind, and others see you as correct or unkind. For us, this will need patience for people to quickly gain confidence. But for all of us who sit on the fence, please acknowledge our presence.